You got the transaction detail uh, by account, right clicking on this, open it up. So now you've got uh, the transaction information by account. Let's go from 010122123122 and run it. So now you've got your accounts to, is you know similar to the chart of account information because it's breaking it out. I'm sorry, the general ledger information because it's breaking it out by account and giving you transactions by account. However, you might want a, like a transaction detail report by date. And so we'll talk about this one in more detail later, but I'm gonna close this back out. That's this one, transaction list by date. We'll dive into it in more detail later, but just to take a quick look at it now, from 010122 to 123122. So now you're not looking at a GL because it's not breaking it out by account, but rather by date. So you can see the time frames that things have been put into place. It's kind of like that journal report, except that you don't have the debits and credits. It's trying to put everything on one line. So it is condensing the transactions. So you can see a nice quicker, uh, shorter list of activities. Also a great report possibly to base your billing on because you might try to say how many transactions I've entered into the system and bill based on the number of uh, transactions. Also a great report to sort by by transaction type to look at activity for a particular transaction.